This is a good time to talk about this. When someone grabs my wrist like this, who knows why they're doing it? Again, I talked about the reason we do the basics, to develop a foundation. Probably in a realistic attack, someone's not going to just grab my hand like this. They may grab me and pull me away. They may, may stop me from going for a weapon. They may be trying to pull my hand off a steering wheel or whatever. In this situation, I don't want to tense my arm up just like this. I want to keep my arm relaxed but extending energy. The energy comes from my center, through my body, and out my hand. It should feel like a fire hose with water flowing through it. From here, the Sankyo technique that we're going to do, third control, do it just like we did the Ikkyo. For the Irimi, staying here, controlling the center line. Once I get him to this point, let's rotate. Once I get him to this point, rather than take him all the way down with Ikkyo, all the way down, instead, we get to this point, and I transition from here, to here. Now watch how I break my grip. Even if he's got a strong grip, you can see that his hand is in an awkward position. Even if he's got a strong grip, I open my hand and rotate it towards him. This enables me to get a much better grip. Again on the Sankyo, wrap the pinky behind the ring finger. So from here again, one, two. One more time on this side, slowly, one, two, and then at speed. Now that's the, ten, that's the irimi, tenkan is just like this. From here, blend, cut, once you've got it here, control the hand. An alternate ending for this, rather than just straight down here, again, is to come up, tuck the elbow into the bicep, compact this all down.